Welcome back to LearnWire, and in this video, I'll be starting a series. We're going to be doing a niche uh, website case study. This will be video one, and I'll be talking to you about what we're gonna be going through, and then we're gonna jump in. We'll break it up into uh, kind of doing just a few tasks per video, so it's not, doesn't end up being this, you know, three hour long video. So let's jump in real quick. So the agenda in this first video is that we're actually gonna go purchase the domain name Right, I've already picked out the, the niche. We're not gonna be doing niche research. That's not what this case study is. I have other videos on niche research and I can also do a separate video on how to do niche research to create your websites with. But in this case, I already chose one. I actually am excited because I'm gonna be doing something that's kind of like a crossover or a hybrid for like local uh, SEO or local businesses, but it'll be on a national level. So it would be pretty cool. We'll probably monetize the site with uh, Google um, AdSense, or if we get enough traffic, then obviously we'd move it over to Azoic and so forth. And then we can look at some other different, maybe there's some Amazon products we can put on there uh, that have to do with it. So it'll be really, really cool, really fun. And then what we're going to be doing is pointing the DNS to the hosting, setting up our SSL and installing WordPress in this video. So this will be a technical video on how to kind of get this, the ball rolling. I know that there's going to be a lot of you that haven't really done this before. So if you just follow along, you'll see the steps. It's how easy it is to actually go and purchase a domain name um, and point the, the, the domain name servers to your hosting. And then the hosting that I use is a pretty premium type hosting. It's not a blue host, you know, $3 a month hosting. The hosting, I think I pay around $350 a year for, but it's super fast and they give you a free SSL that's extremely easy to install. I've never been able to install SSLs so easily other than this hosting provider. So I recommend this hosting provider. It's the best hosting provider. I've been with all of them, Bluehost and HostGator, A1 Hosting, just so many I could name them all. And this one is way better. My sites are never down and they pat they get very very high speed so and if you want to go and check that the hosting provider that i use out there will be a link below and then we're going to install wordpress and then we'll, we'll end it there because that's a lot to take in in one video for beginners if uh you are a beginner now if you're Obviously, if you own a lot of websites and this is what you do, then you probably don't need to watch this video in particular, but the rest of the videos will be fun. Well, after we get through the install process, then we'll be just creating content for the website. And so it'll be nice to follow along for this. So make sure that you like this video and subscribe to LearnWire so you don't miss out on all the rest of the videos that I'll be making for this site. And this is gonna be like a transparent type case study where I'm gonna just show you, I'll show you the keywords I'm going after and all that. And then let's get into it. Okay, so we need to buy our domain name, right? And there's a lot of people that uh, use GoDaddy and uh, so forth, but I've been using for over a decade, been using Namecheap. It's just my favorite tool to use. It's just, they make the purchasing experience seamless. They also make it very easy to update your DNSs and it just, everything just works. And um, this is, so this has been my favorite uh, place to buy domain names. It's where I buy all my domain names. And so search for a domain name, we're over here. So I'm actually gonna come in here and just put in so if we went in here and we went to autodetailing.com, obviously that's going to be taken, okay? So you wanna think outside the box, you wanna put maybe a suffix or prefix to make this a little bit easier. You could go with autodetailing.auto or .car, those ones would be good ones. Those are premium uh, domain name extensions and they will cost a lot of money. Technically you could get autodetailing.net, uh, which would be good, but you'll have to pay $4,000 for and then and so forth, right? So someone owns that, but they're willing to sell it to you is what that basically means and so forth. So you can come through here and actually find one if you wanted to, but what we're gonna do is just, you know, think out a little bit more outside the box. And I like to use uh, words like this, autodetailingreport.com and check this out, autodetailingreport. Let me make sure I spelled that right. Autodetailingreport.com is available. And this is something else I like. They always usually cut you a deal. So we can get this for $7, $6.98 for the first year. And then it renews at $13.98. Now domains have um, increasingly gotten more expensive to renew. You know, they I remember when they used to be eight or $9 to renew every year, and then they went up to 10, 11, 12. And now they're at almost $14 just to renew your domain each year. So it is uh, getting a little bit more expensive to actually own a domain name. 
uh, but they do cut you a little bit of a break um, on the front end. So we're gonna go with auto detailing report. And the reason why we're doing this is because we're obvious, obviously auto detailing is where you clean uh, the inside of a car out. Could extend to uh, detailing the outside of the car if you get intricate into it, but it's mostly about cleaning the, uh, extremely in detail, uh, intricately cleaning the inside of a car, right? Making it look brand new. And we're gonna be going on a national level. So for example, if we go after auto detailing in um, Arizona or Texas or New York or something like that, we're gonna be creating you know, articles on our site based around those keywords that we find in each state. And we're gonna be making a big site that um, has some good information. Maybe it um, uh, tells the viewers that what the best ones are. Maybe we do recaps, certain things that we can do. We'll see how it works, right? But we're gonna go with auto detailing report so we can go after all 50 states. It'll be really, really fun. And so you're kind of getting like a crossover between like a, it is local SEO because we're gonna be trying to rank for specific keywords in uh, cities and, and the state, but we don't really have a business in each one of those, right? So we have to kind of maximize our content use and still make valuable content. And then at some point when we start ranking and we start getting some traffic, then we could do figure out, we could even sell, you know, if we get some top number one rankings, we could actually sell ad space to some of the other people that are below us and, or we could collect leads and then sell those leads to them as well. So there's a lot of ways that you can monetize this website. So we're going to go for this. All you have to do is just add to cart and push the add to cart button. And then it's just going to tell us uh, if we want to check out or not. I'm going to push the checkout button. I'm already logged in and I'm going to go through this. Uh, you can actually pay with PayPal. And what I recommend right here, yeah, there's no personal information shown right here. I will pause uh, in order to continue the, the purchase, but um, right here you actually get, and I always turn on auto renew, to be honest, it just gets to be a pain when you forget. I, I usually always keep all my domains. And it ends up being a pain when you don't have it on auto renew because then it just ends up you end up losing the site and then you have and they give you a 30-day grace period but then you end up having to go and purchase it and stuff and it can hurt your rankings and your traffic and all that so i recommend just always going with auto renew go for a year if you're really serious you want to get all, put all your skin in the game then you can go and select more years and then the domain privacy, you just leave that on because they all, they always give you a one year subscription. Every year you remove, renew it, it's forever. So you get zero, it's, it doesn't cost any money and it just protects your information from the public eye. And then we also, you don't need to get the SSL certificate right here if, and this is very important, if you're going to go with SiteGround, which SiteGround is my top recommended hosting. I haven't talked about this on this site, but we're going to really dive into creating websites and such on LearnWire as well. But I use SiteGround and I've used a lot of hosting in the past and SiteGround has been my favorite because it, it's like in the, it's in the middle of pricing wise, as far as if you go with like Bluehost or HostGator or something like that, you know, yeah, you're two or three dollars a month, but uh, it, it really does come with a lot of limitations, and you're it, you're not going to get as fast um, and secure of hosting that you're going to get with SiteGround. Also, uh, on the contrast, there are there are other hosting accounts that are a lot more expensive than SiteGround as well. So it's a nice balance. SiteGround is a perfect balance for professional hosting at a good price because we're talking about, you know, you can spend 40, 50 bucks or even up to $80 um, a year on Bluehost well, where I pay about $350 for SiteGround. So it's, it does cost four or five times more, but it's worth it to me. But like I said, the contrast to that is that you could also spend a thousand or $2,000 a year on hosting as well. So it's a nice middle ground um, and there will be a link below if you want, if you're going to go and start along with me, maybe you can create a website along with me and follow the steps and uh, build a site the exact way that I'm building the site. So I do recommend SiteGround and I will leave a link below to go and sign up if you wish. So back over here, a turn, you want to turn these on. And then, like I said, oh, that was what I was trying to say is that on SiteGround, you do, they will um, just create the SSL and give you a free SSL. And it, it's literally the click of a button and your site automatically gets an SSL it, uh, from a technical standpoint. It's the easiest SSL install that I've ever seen. SiteGround basically just, you just push a button and then your site has SSL and they give you it for every site that you install with them. They give you it for free. So you don't need the SSL right here for $5 right here. 
But if you're going to use it for any other hostings, you just need to check with all your other host if they have SSL, if you need to purchase uh, the one from through Namecheap or not. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and push confirm order. And then you can check out with uh, your credit card or debit card, or you can, I always use PayPal and I'll be right back after I make the purchase. So once you make the purchase, you're going to click on manage domain. Okay. So you're going to click on manage domain, just go to your uh, domain list and then select the one that you just purchased autodetailingreport.com. And then you're going to manage this domain. Okay. Now we need to update the right now it's going to be on Namecheap basic DNS, right? But we're going to need to change this right over here. We need the name servers over here. So we are going to need to go and get this information from SiteGround. Okay. So we're going to copy our uh, domain name, right? In this video, we are going to go and we're going to connect the DNS records to SiteGround, SiteGround, our hosting. And then we're going to install the SSL certificate, install WordPress, and then we'll be done with this video. So let's continue. We're going to come through here. I'm going to go to websites and I'm going to say new website. I'm not going to show that because it'll show all my websites to you but we're going to click on websites and then there'll be a button right here and it says add new website. And then we're going to click that. And then this is what it looks like, right? Add new website, uh, new domain, existing domain and temporary. So we need to uh, go with a select this option. If you already have a domain and want to point it to SiteGround. So this is the one that we're going to go with right here. Select, we're going to put in our domain right here and we're going to say continue. And then we're going to start a new website, install a new application or migrate a website transfer. So we're going to start a new website. So we're going to say select. And then right here, if you're going to do e-commerce, then you're going to want to go with WooCommerce. Or if you're selling consulting and you want a way to uh, have people make payments on your website, then you want to go with the WooCommerce. It's super, super cool that SiteGround does this. You can just install this immediately. But right here, all we need to do is just go with WordPress. And if you don't want to use either one of those, you just skip this step. If you're going to build it on another platform, we're going to build it on WordPress because it's just super easy to manage a website on WordPress. So we're going to say select. And here is where you're going to put in your login credentials. I will pause on this part. And of course they've got their upsells to you uh, for $18 a year. Uh, they will check your website daily, immediately notify you if your website's been hacked or injected with uh, malicious code or anything like that. But on this point, you would actually push the add button. So that's cool. It doesn't automatically add it for you or anything, but you can add that if you want. If not, just push finish. It's creating our site and it usually takes less than two minutes to complete the uh, website creation. We are back. That took about maybe 40 seconds at the most. The autodetailingreport.com has been created. Super, super cool. Now we need to point our domain. Okay. So this is very important. This is your DNS records, right? And so we're going to come back over here inside of Namecheap. Remember, we wanted to go to custom DNS over here. It's originally at Namecheap domain servers, but we need to point it. So we're going to go custom here. And all we need to do is go over to SiteGround and they get, they gave us our uh, DNS records. So we're going to copy this first one, come back over to Namecheap, throw that in, and then we're going to come back over and grab the second one. Come back over here, throw that in right there, and then make sure, this is very important over here, uh, if you don't click this check mark, this little tiny check mark right here, then it doesn't save. So you got to make sure that you click that to save the DNS records. Now it will take some time to actually populate. This can take um, anywhere from 15 minutes. Uh, I think I've seen it as fast as 15 minutes and it can take, it really can take up to 24 hours, but usually it only takes uh, an hour uh, to populate. Okay. Now we'd come back over to SiteGround over here, right? And what you would do is now go to, and if you need more instructions, you can read, click this button and read that. And they have a whole tutorial and article on it. Now, uh, we're going to go to site tools right here by clicking site tools. And this is going to be the back end of your website uh, where you can set up email accounts, file management, the SiteGround scanner if you had it, uh, or you can add it in at a later date. Install and manage WordPress. We have installed WordPress. We don't know if it's going to populate yet. We can go and check real quick. I'm going to go like this and right click and go to it. And so here we go. We already have this hosted. We have WordPress right here. It's already installed. So we have WordPress. It already worked. Okay. So that means that the DNS records worked and transferred over immediately, or we would have gotten another error over here. So that means that it literally happened instantly. We got it to connect to SiteGround instantly. Super cool. You can go click on sample page. Our website is fully 
host it on SiteGround and everything, okay? So we already have installed WordPress. You can see how easy this actually is. Once you know how to do this, you can set up a website in literally 10 minutes. It literally only takes 10 minutes if you know what you're doing. And last but not least, let's go install that SSL. So if we come up over here, this is, you definitely don't wanna leave this hanging like this. It's gonna impact your rankings. You're just not gonna rank today with a non-secure website. So we need that SSL, so then there'll be a little lock button up here. So we need to go and do that. So we're going to go back over, over here to SiteGround and then we're going to go in. Let's see where I forgot where it's at. Okay. So you're going to go over here to security and then you're going to go to SSL manager and click on SSL manager. Okay. And the current one, it's going to give a let's encrypt for free. So you just leave this auto detailing report. And then we just say right here, get and it, you can see down here, it already um, has this going right here. It says it's active, but all you need to do, this is exactly what it's going to be when you install it. It's ready to go, but there's just one little tiny step and uh, wait for it, guys. This is how easy it is to install your SSL. We didn't have to install anything. This is if you needed to install it manually, you'd come in here, but, but you, you noticed right here, this was already done for us. It's active, but there's one little thing that you need to know is you click on these little dots over here and you say enforce this right here. HTTPS is the, the SSL for the site, right? The site security certificate. We're going to uh, click that to enforce. And then it's going to take you to this page right here, this button right here and click the button success HTTPS enforce for auto detailing report.com enabled. And it can take up to five minutes to start working. We can go and check this out right now by pushing a refresh on our site. And it's not done yet, but we can keep refreshing. And I'll pause the video until this is done. You can see it's 10, 19 a.m. This should uh, not take too long. Okay, it already worked. It, it literally take 12 seconds. And now we are fully ready to go. Look at the lock icon up here, autodetailingreport.com the lock icon, SSL is installed, we are uh, in business, okay? So what did we do in this video? Well, we we purchased our domain name from Namecheap. We have our hosting with SiteGround. We connected our DNS uh, server records and pointed the DNS to our hosting. We installed WordPress and we installed our SSL certificate and the site is up and running. And I've been talking the entire time and it's more of a kind of a tutorial type video and we did it in 20 minutes. If you're not recording a video and trying to, you know, be in depth and explain everything that you're doing, you can do this in 10 minutes, guys. You can actually do all these steps in 10. So thank you guys. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the rest of the videos in this case study. Now, they may, I'm still going to continue doing my reviews, uh, my software reviews, guys, but I also want to get more, do more SEO and website building type tutorials as well. And so we're going to be kind of doing both of them back and forth. So you want to make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss out on the next video. The next video will be choosing a WordPress theme, setting up the legal pages on the site, adding categories, and I've got a really cool category uh, premium plugin that I'm going to be purchasing uh, because it's going to allow us to have our home page with a site like this with a ton of different you know maybe we'll take 20 states at first and each one will be a state and then we'll have a nice image to that state like california and it'll be a nice image and then people can click on it and then it will be all of the cities and uh, articles that we have related to that so it'll be a nice silo structure for the website so it'll be really fun to follow along with this tutorial and case study so again thank you for your time hit that like button subscribe so you don't miss the next video and i'll see you in the next video